it's very important to the process of understanding Google Cloud and passing the certification exam that you go through the question and attempt answering it yourself first. So pause the video, work through the question. We'll catch up in just a little while and I'll show you how I do it. This project scenario is based on the Mount Kirk Games case study. Mount Kirk Games has deployed a new backend on Google Cloud Platform. You want to create a thorough testing process for new versions of the backend before they are released to the public. You want the testing environment to scale in an economical way. How should you design the process? So the requirement is fairly straightforward. We need thorough testing, but it should not burn our pockets in doing it. Going a little more detail into the requirements. When we want a thorough testing process, there's going to be all kinds of tests, right? There's going to be unit testing, integration testing, system testing. As part of system testing, we would also have load testing or stress testing, where you could have a way to test the system, the load bearing cap capability of system, say when there are 100 users who are connected, and then when there are 1000 users and 10,000 users, a million or a billion. So during this process, as in production, when the load increases, your uh, capacity also has to increase. We want to be able to ideally do that. Right? If we have to test for, say, a million users, we should have the, the VM and the system capacity to take that kind of load so that it simulates production behavior. But in doing all of that, we also want to ensure that we keep our costs low. With that understood, let's go look at the options. Option A suggests that we create a scalable environment in GCP for simulating production load. What does a scalable environment give us? It basically means that when the load increases, the capacity increases. So if you're testing for 100 users, maybe one VM is enough. If you're testing for a million, maybe you need hundreds of VMs and therefore it will automatically scale to that. This still gives us the ability to simulate production behavior. Right? Whatever we see in production, that when the large number of users, there should be a large number of VMs, we have the same behavior here too. And we can test it for increased users or a decreasing set of users. So an auto-scaling environment will only allocate, us, allocate servers to match the load, which is good for us. And because that's the case, our costs will be proportional to testing load. It's unlikely that every day, every minute, we are going to be testing for a million users or a billion users. Right? We are going to be running those tests occasionally. So a scalable environment gives us the ability to just pay for the cost when we run highly scaled tests, whereas for the normal tests, we don't want to pay that much. Given all of that, option A looks very suitable for us and we are going to mark that as a very good possibility and retain that while we go on and look at the other options also. Option B suggests that you use the existing infrastructure to test the GCP based backend at scale. Now, this is just not allowed, right? If you're going to use the existing production infrastructure to do tests, this could interfere with the production load and it could have a negative impact on user sessions. Right? So if there are a large number of users on the system right now, and we also do uh, you know, a heavy stress test, it is probably going to cause capacity issues and maybe reject some of the actual user sessions, which we do not want. Also in reading the case study, we know that the existing infrastructure already has scaling problems. Right? That's one of the things that we need to solve as part of the larger requirement. In any case, there's absolutely no way in which we should be running stress tests and integration tests as part of the production setup. So option B is not viable for us and we eliminate it. Option C suggests that we build stress tests into each component of the application and use resources from the already deployed production backend to simulate load. Again, there is no way that we are going to touch production. Right? 
But even the idea of changing code to include stress, stress tests is not sensible. We can't be changing the code that is going to be released and deployed to also include the st uh, stress test. Right? This has to come from outside. It has to be an external company. So it starts off in a way that is unsuitable for us and also touches another point that we already discussed that we should not be looking at um, interfering with the production uh, system or the production setup to do any kind of tests of this sort. And as we said, the existing infrastructure already has scaling issues. We are not going to overload it with even more uh, tests. Option D suggests that we create a set of static environments in GCP to test different levels of load, for example, high, medium and low. So this one recommends that we have different setups, right? There is a, a project or a setup that is just for um, low st stress testing, one for medium stress testing, another one for high load uh, testing. A static environment will remain idle until the time that you actually go and start doing those tests. Right? Which means we have, we've kept all this capacity ready, but we're not going to be using it all the time. Especially when it comes to heavy load, we're not going to be testing it all the time, once in a while. Which means that all this capacity that we've provisioned is lying idle and it's wasted money. Right? So this would result in high cost without a reasonable return on that investment. And therefore option D is not suitable for us and therefore we will eliminate that option. Looking at all of them, therefore, option A to create a scalable environment in Google Cloud for simulating production load is the best approach that we have. Well, how are you going to inform others of this super GCP content? Just one way, like it, share it, let them get to know of it, and you, you subscribe. <laughs>